Today's episode of the Top 10 Contraventions issued to SAS members in 2021 deals with the Regulation 922, Risk from Vehicular Traffic. This regulation includes the necessity of the Traffic Control Plan. You may think that sounds a lot like a highway worker problem, not a manufacturing facility problem, or our workers in our yard wear orange, highly visible clothing, so we're good. If that were the case, we wouldn't be on the top 10 list. Let's look at the regulation a little closer. Occupational Health and Safety Regulation 9-22, Risk from Vehicular Traffic, Number one, an employer or contractor shall ensure that a worker who is at risk from vehicular traffic, whether on a public highway or any other place of employment, is provided with and required to use high visibility vest, armlets, or other high visibility clothing. What's considered a vehicle? In Regulation 1-21, vehicle means a machine in or on or by a person or thing that may be transported and includes power mobile equipment. What about public highway? In Regulation 1-21, public highway means a public highway as defined in the Highways and Transportation Act 1997. Okay, so let's look at the Highways and Transportation Act 1997. If you look at 2Q, public highway means a road allowance or a road street or lane vested in the crown in the right of Saskatchewan or set aside for the purpose of the crown in the right of Saskatchewan pursuant to the Northwest Territories Act or Act may include any erected or in connection with public highway. That would pretty much include anything you can drive on that is in public property. The next statement to look at in 922 is at any other place of employment. So now that private property that wasn't included in public highway would be included as place of employment, which includes inside the buildings. So what the regulation really means is a worker who is at risk from vehicular traffic, wherever they're employed, is provided with and required to wear high visibility vests, armlets, or other high visibility clothing. So now you're thinking, okay, we'll just use armlets. It wasn't this past year, but an officer has given a contravention because the armlets were insufficient to protect the workers. But that's a whole different conversation. If you look at 9-227, it lays out what needs to be included in your traffic control plan. It must be in writing, and then C indicates situations that, if appropriate for your facility, must have provisions in your traffic control plan. If you ship products or have a forklift, your facility needs a traffic control plan. There is a link in this newsletter or the newsletter section in the sasm.ca website that will take you to a sample traffic control plan or contact any SASM advisor to have one forwarded to you.